myself and my body anymore as an object. I see it as a tool to create art that I'm passionate about. And that's godly. Most of what they do is deliberately offensive. It might offend you. We started doing political art when it was not uh, popular at all to be involved in politics in Russia. We started to do it in 2007. It was just the second term of Vladimir Putin, and most of the people were still enjoying capitalism, which was still quite new for Russia. And people were just like all about owning stuff and like getting TVs and computers and being like, oh my god, there is like smartphones. And so nobody cared about politics, and it was like really um, lame to be in politics. We had only up to 100 people who were like, super involved and ready to be activists. That was those people who you can reach out to. And it was super clear that with 100 people you can't really make a revolution. But if you involve some smart, creative, crazy, provocative strategies, it can actually work. inspire more people to, to be part of political action. We were like more in a um, modern art mindset, which means we were caring deeply about our principles, our politics, and we were prepared to die for what we believe in. And soon enough, we got this opportunity actually when we got locked um, inside prison for two years. I'm a big believer in art being the best uh, therapy. I actually tried to work with several real therapists uh, after I got out of jail and I felt like, deeply depressed. And I worked with some doctors and it didn't help me, but art said it really helped me. And I feel like if you're coming from a troubled place, then art is something that helps you to overcome the trauma. Like, if you cannot escape going through a traumatic situation, which would be ideal to escape from it, but you cannot escape from it, then it's better to live through it, remember it, document it, remember your emotions, and then use these emotions to drive you to help other people who might live through a similar traumatic situation. So, it's really important not to be uh, involved with something that I call uh, activist Napoleon complex. And it happens sometimes with newcomers, activists, who just start their job. They feel like their actions have to have results immediately. And when they don't have these results, they're getting disappointed, burned out, and they, they're not motivated to be part of political action anymore. As someone who is in political action for certain years, you need to know that activist world is not working in the same ways as a capitalist economy. Capitalist economy works like you're giving two dollars, you're getting an apple. Activist economy doesn't work like that. You're giving two dollars, you're giving your effort, and it doesn't mean that you will get an apple. Sometimes you will get beaten by a cop. <laughs> 